Venus that can be that pack on chest. Let me actually just grab a loadout. Is it possible to increase the chance for our fail dip toy? Yeah, okay. So, god damn it. Why does my Steam window that way? So, the first thing you want to do. Oh, okay. My Zeus interface is just put down again. <laughs> oh, this is happening really common, that's weird. So, whenever you get told that you're going to be doing a power drop mission or something that involves dropping out of an aircraft, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got everything sorted in terms of your gear, your backpacks, and whatever. Once that's all sorted, use the Ace Interaction. Ace self interaction menu, which can be control windows or windows depending if you've rebound it or not. Why can I not do black tackle chest? This is interesting. I think you can't if you're in a Zeus controlled unit. Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so many flaws happening right now. Fuck this. Alright, fine. If I don't need to, if I can't do it as a Zeus controlled unit, that's fine. So, yeah. Uh, you just go through your equipment uh, in the self-interaction menu and do backpack on chest. What you then do is you go into the arsenal and you scroll down and you find under backpacks the steerable parachute. For the love of God, please take the steerable parachute <laughs> unless you're specifically told that you're not allowed to. Because I swear to Christ, it's going to be so bad if you don't. Now... What this will do is this will stick the parachute on your back and you'll have your main one on your chest, although it looks like your legs. What this ends up doing is if you try walking around, you'll notice that you'll be essentially waddling like a duck. This is your now movement speed, so you, luckily, if you're going to be para dropping, you don't have to walk too far like this. For anyone who is a squad leader or has a long range at any point in your life when doing this sort of thing, you will end up losing the ability to use your long range while it's on your chest. So if you're a squad lead for whatever reason, it's a good idea to set up your parachute on your back and then swap your backpacks around and just stay on the long range um, until you absolutely have to go. Alternatively, if a platoon is going to be within earshot range of you for a significant amount of time, you can set your alternate frequency on your short range to 69. I have a handy guide for all the radio stuff. It's really good. It's really good. I put a lot of, a lot of effort into it. Um, so, a couple of things to note uh, about parachutes. Um, they are relatively buggy in the fact that if you all jump out and pull your parachute at the same time, you will kill everybody. Because the parachute is classed as a solid fucking object. It's wonderful. Uh, so do usually either your squad leader, if he's got his uh, brain right, will pick an altitude to say pull your shoot at so that you're all relatively spread out, you're not clustered, and your parachute isn't going to clobber your mate in the face. Good stuff. Um, if you go to watches in the arsenal, you'll see that there's an altimeter watch. Generally, if you're going to be para dropping and someone says we're going to be drop, we're going to be pull pulling at X altitude. That is the altitude. Uh, that is the watch you want to be used, so you can actually tell what altitude you're going to be pulling at. It's also a pretty nice watch. I'll be honest. Digital time telling, nice orange display, doesn't hurt your eyes at night. It's wonderful. I always carry one. Where do you see it? Uh, so yeah. if, you go, if you go into the arsenals, uh, scroll down to where you see the watch icon, click on that and it's the altimeter watch. Yeah, do you only see it visually once you've dropped uh, it? I think it's press O twice to keep it permanently up on your screen. Gotcha, thanks. I believe User it's O. Your channel. I'm yeah. telling you, but yeah. Hey, hey uh, Michael, it's... apologies for being late. It's fine. Well, you join the server. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other basics. Uh, yeah, one thing to importantly note is your backpack on chest does not account for your total weight. So basically, whatever well, it does and it doesn't. But what I mean by that is, if you load up your backpack with like 50 pa uh, 50 kilograms worth of stuff and stick it on your chest it will suddenly show whatever your weight is normally without that 50 kilograms. However, that weight is still on you. It just, there's a bug with calculation with backpacks on chest. 
So that's always one thing to be mindful of. This is mainly important if you're flying with like a person who's using advanced flight model, because imagine oh, yeah. 20 people having 50 kilograms of gear, you won't get the, ch um, the Black Hawk off the ground at all. Also, a fun story, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, uh, we loaded up a Chinook with like almost two and a half squads full of Bergens and gear in armor. The pilot had advanced flight model, and due to the weight, as soon as he took off, he exploded. <laughs> it literally nice. ripped the helicopter apart, so yeah. Yeah. Great so, be mindful of weight with backpack on chest. Weight is always still a thing with backpack on chest, it's not... Ignorance thing. Um, so, one thing to note as well, you'll need to get used to the whole interaction thing of backpack on chest and swapping backpack and that sort of thing. Because there are, because if you forget, you'll be like, why am I walking around? Why don't, have I, why don't I have a backpack after you drop? Which is a little bit awkward, because then you realize, oh, it's on my chest. There is a chance albeit very rarely, but this is armor, where it bugs out and you end up losing your backpack on your chest. This is pretty awkward, but it does. it's only happened once out of 20 drops for one person I found. Citation needed. Alright, if everyone wants to waddle through the pole behind you, you get to experience the joy of dropping. Now, one thing to note, is uh, you open your parachute through the scroll wheel menu, same way you would placing most other object other objects since it's a base game item. Now, if you scroll wheel again and interact, you will cut away your parachute. If you do that by accident, don't panic because you do have one reserve chute which you open again through the scroll wheel menu. But if you cut that away, because I know maybe you're a plonker and you just like seeing the ground at an accelerated rate, then you're going to hit the ground really, really hard. It hurts. It's not great. Um, I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be a real dick. What do you mean? Oh, trees? No, no, no. Hey, hey. This is Pakistan. Where the fuck do you want to get trees? Uh, drop them over for about. Sure. Any direction or just like just any, follow the road. Any direction. Sure. So uh, you'll be dropping into for okay. because hmm? yeah, uh, because it's relatively dense in terms of buildings, and it's going to be good so practice for you. All right, I think everyone's in. Okay, just a heads up. Um, there are There's two ways pilots or like the flight outside. ones. Huh? We have a giant outside. Doesn't matter. Just, yeah, try to get in. So, two things. First of all, always leave that fucking ramp open. Solid collides with the ground if the pilot takes off. Literally. People have died because of that multiple times. Next thing is, um, during a power drop, normally your squad lead will tell you if. He pretty much actually this is not really important if you're normal infantryman because your squad lead will tell you when to drop. But sometimes there is that the pilot tells um, pretty much the rest of the inf um, the infantry when they are allowed to start dropping, and uh, most but most of the time it's just the squad leads have to decide that themselves. So yeah, it's most of the time we're doing the second part. Uh, is there any information we should know about altitude? Just don't pull your shoes as soon as you jump out. Yeah, because I want to drop you at 2,000, 3,000, something like that. Yeah, so if you have your own altimeter watch on the squad, you should it's something like 600. Like basically, the shorter you, the lower altitude you pull your shoe, the less chance the AI has of detecting you, because they actually do notice that sort of thing. But the shorter time you'll have to slow down and decelerate and all that. So if it's relatively safe drop, pull it at a slightly higher altitude than you would if you have to danger zone it. Uh, because that allows you to slow down and rest in peace for a little bit. Well, what happened to me? Oh, I'm a break again then. She you jump out or something? Mm -hmm. This thing doesn't have brakes, by the way. I only I'm actually slowed down by roaming. That's fine. Uh, let me run a race with this But I'll just turn around, just set them off on the other side of the app. Just 
the minimum safe distance for opening a parachute so I found is about 100 meters. You should be yeah. prepared to slow down. Generally, generally in my experience, we've called the crossing shield open at like 400 to 500. Um, so obviously with the normal parachute, because you can steer it, you're not letting the wind just dictate everything, uh, you will pick up speed as you turn. Hang on, Ripley, uh, go back through the pool. Um, should I pick him up on the other side, or will you teleport him? No, I'll just be his pilot. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I think they'll follow you. Um, yeah, so you, generally as you bank and turn, you can pick up a lot of speed. Basically, think of it as, if you hold, uh, think of it as the same way you would for PUBG, if any of you play it, for like the parachute mechanics for that, except it's a lot more glitchy. How do you steer? Uh, A and D. All right. Hi guys. And what was drop altitude again? Uh, so to like drop altitude, you either just let it drop, or you just hold W to like force yourself forwards. It has to pull yourself up to slow yourself down. W will make you move, like pick up speed. S will help you in slowing down. And what I mean, what altitude should we polish each side in? Uh, generally do four hundred to five hundred meters. As well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because you. It needs to be consistent with the rest of your squad, so you're all dropping at like the same time. Everyone's into the fence. Okay. Um, because you should all hopefully land at the same time. Now, one thing to note is. Oh, fuck this bug. Give me a second. If you if you move too quickly and you land too quickly, you'll either injure yourself through scrapes, or you'll end up breaking your legs, or in worst cases even dying, which is not ideal. So what you want to do for when you land is basically make sure you're at a nice slow speed and you're not going to clip a building or a lamp or a wire or anything that armor thinks you can even remotely hit. So you basically need to be conscious of where you're moving, you know, 30 seconds ahead of time. Because you can't quick, because if you try and make very quick adjustments, You'll end up doing it at a very quick speed, and the higher, the faster you move, the more damage you'll end up taking. You want a nice, slow, controlled stop. Because, unfortunately, uh, this game doesn't really have a nice parachute landing animation to cushion, like, 90% of your stuff. So it's got to be nice and slow. Another thing I'm not sure if this was only Alma 2 or also Alma 3, with Q and E you can pull brakes on the chute. So you pretty much, um, A and D makes you your model turn and Q and E makes you like, you know, harder turns and meaning of brakes. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is still a thing in Alma 3. So, so yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to place a marker down, blue marker. Uh, try and essentially pull yourselves to a stop on that point uh, without injuring yourself or other people. That's essentially where you should be able to stop. It's okay if you're like 100, 150 meters away, because you know that's relatively quick to regroup. But if you end up starting being like two, three, four hundred meters plus away, then that's a huge inconvenience and a massive issue. So usually your squad lead will end up telling you uh, when to drop, what altitude to pull your shooter, and where he wants you to rally. Uh, and basically, as long as you land within a reasonable range of that rally point, or that landing point, then it's fine. Because the the faster you get your guys on the ground and everyone's met up again, with as few as injuries as possible, the quicker your squad can get to it and on with their job. Okay, we're coming up by the way, so everybody pretty much make sure you check your GPS yourself. I'm not going to call when you are ready to jump. Try to jump between the two black lines. If you can't jump a bit earlier, I'm going to slow down now, so you have more than enough time to jump. Another thing is, normally during jumping, you don't jump all at the same time. 30 people at the same time, you will glitch into each other, you will make yeah, stuff go bad. Squads will be called that time, but um, I think it would be relatively safe just to go once it, relatively. Okay, we're going near drop speed now. 
we're nearing our drop zone, so yeah, I'm guys be prepared. So, so you get out of over this plane the same way you would anything else. You'd use the scroll wheel and eject. Okay, you should be able to jump in about a second or two. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, everyone stop jumping. You'll see you're essentially moving with the speed of the plane as well. And you can see how that has a massive effect. The mark on the ship too early. If you did pull the shoot too early, you can cut it once, as you already said, you only have one reserve, so... So, like, don't depend on it during a mission. It's like the breakers in your house. You're not using your breakers to turn on your light and your, uh, on and off. No, it's like an emergency thingy, or like a safety feature. Any tips of uh, having a joystick plugged in, so the servo pursuits is you around? We need to really uh, uh, keep keyboard and mouse are perfectly fine. I've never had any issues. No, 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 but but uh, my joystick is plugged in, and then it overrides my uh, keyboard, and ma makes me turn. Then you might want to check the keybinds if anything is fucked up with that. Uh, um, in that case, what you want to do is um, just go to uh, configure controls. Uh, and then controller, and then disable your customizable controller for your joystick. Now, mm. once you've landed, you'll realize that the parachute essentially drops away and is no longer on your back. What you want to do is use your ACE interaction menu again, and well, if it is still on your back, drop it, and then use your ACE interaction to put um, your backpack back on your back. Alright, was did anyone break their legs? <laughs> Better than the main missions. Wow. Uh, angry Scottish guy, uh, swap your backpacks around again. Drop your parachute. Uh, yeah, that's the and problem. then put your backpack back on your there you go. So if you're wondering why you're walking slow and you don't have any idea like you do, you've got no injuries then it's probably because you've got the backpack on the wrong way hi yeah, i don't think anyone broke their legs no i don't think so oh god it's so is still there oh shit <laughs> we're gonna catch gonna you be fine. <laughs> there no it's not uh, so yeah, you can no, see, I, I you tried to slow down too much because the, I saw it. Oh shit! The earlier you pull your shoe, oh yeah, don't try and land on top of people either. Like, you uh, yeah. have the same issue. It's not his fault. It's my fault. Yeah, I can't yeah. yeah. panic because of the thingy, so I uh, well, I touched on the um, Master, swap your backpacks again. Yeah, I'm trying to. A uh, quick question. I couldn't seem to uh, cut my parachute at any point. Is there settings I need to change? Uh, should be done through the scroll wheel. Nope, it's oh, yeah. Ace. Oh, actually. oh, is it Ace? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, self interaction, just interaction. You're pretty much interacting with the vehicle parachute. Because parachutes oh, are okay. vehicles. Oh, Rapper, can you drop me. Uh, no, uh, Badger, can you drop me a respawn? I panicked because of that fucking pole. <laughs> Did you? I just pulled full air brakes because I didn't see it. Just, um, <laughs> like, you know, grey on grey. <laughs> Uh, full that's on <laughs> that is beautiful laugh. Hmm. Uh, you think pulling I'll... through would have been the better idea. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can see with some, um, you can see with the person who landed almost on top of someone that pulling your shoot early isn't always the best idea because it, it will massively increase the time before you even hit the ground when. If a squad leader calls for a particular altitude and you're thinking that's way too high, just feel free to either suggest something or just like shut up, take the altitude he suggests, and then um, basically just as long as you all pull your shoots at the same time, it's fine because you should all land at the same time. But then no, also the ground it... level height from the ocean should also be set so you know the difference. Because we're yeah, at 2,000 meters, that's, so... That's usually told by elevation. So if you actually... 
Anyways, so if you look at the elevation, like around here, it's going to be like, you should be around 1,000s. 2,000. 2,000-ish. Yeah. Really? That's only 15 meters of elevation? Okay, cool. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so basically, um, if you open your maps, I guess we're going to be going into a little bit of a map reading. Um, and you zoom into Feruzabad, and you zoom out a little bit, you basically see numbers all around you. Well, not all around you, but basically these are the elevation of particular high points, um, elevation of like hills and all that. That's basically how you can tell how far above sea level something's going to be. So, for example, if I said our landing was going to be at uh, high point 2351 to the north, you know that's 2,351 meters above sea level. You'll see what altitude that the plane uh, ends up cruising at, and then you just do a little bit of math. It's really not that difficult. Your squad leader will generally call over the short range because uh, the short range is a, is a distance of five kilometers. So unless you catastrophically fuck up, uh, you should still always be within short range of him or them. Hmm. At least I think it's five kilometers. It might be two. Well, it uh, depends on the radio. On the radio. Yeah, there's two radios. Two, there's a two kilometers and a five kilometers. The, no the one most of us use. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it is affected by terrain. But since you're in the air, terrain doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, thanks for the clarification syntax about uh, ace interaction using to cut away your shoots. Because uh, I did not know that. I thought it was scroll wheel for some reason. Maybe a thing in an older version. Alright. Um, oh, that was significantly shorter than I thought it would be. Let me do some more basics are simple. Yeah, yeah. Let me just throw up a TP poll. Uh, several, actually. Do your competition who opens the shoot last? So feel free to go back to spawn, pick up new shoots, and then. Uh, I'll, tell, uh, I'll set up a new TP pole on the airfield, and a new C-130. So one thing you may want to try this time is using ACE interaction. It is ACE interaction because essentially, as Cinefax said, you are piloting a vehicle with the parachute being the vehicle. So use the interaction menu to cut away your shoot. And then I assume scroll wheel to deploy the reserve. TGB poll isn't working for me, annoyingly. You have to go to the bottom, Charlie. Sorry, that's just TP normally. Uh, I assume it's Rabbit's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my in game name is Brad. Oh, sorry, Radders, yeah, sorry. Oh god, my brain's all over the place at watch off the morning. Water, 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 water. So. so yeah, pick up another parachute. And uh, this time let's practice, just practice getting used to ace interaction with the parachute. I believe it's scroll wheel to reopen the reserve, but don't quote me on that. Ripley, are you okay? We'll find out. Can't confirm. Yeah, no, Ripley's a bit lost, but I'm trying to get back to Alpha Actual. Uh, turn behind you. Just pick up another parachute from the arsenal and go through the bomb with Dylan Hall, did you? Oh, cool. I forgot to take a watch, so uh, I will just get Yeah, um, altimeter watches are very... They're not like... As long as like the squad lead takes one, so you can actually call the altitude of the pole, then it's fine. You don't all need one. But I always take one regardless, just so I know. It's also handy for knowing your exact elevation in relation to everything else in terms of high points. Does the teleport pole still work? It doesn't seem to be working again. It says teleport um, question mark, question mark. Let me set up another one. So. Try Delta. Thanks. Two more people. 
Yeah. You coming that way? On my way. Should I reverse a bit? <laughs> Uh, go to Delta Ripley. So yeah, this time uh, just try using the uh, interaction menu. So basically open shoot early, cut it, and open reserve, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, not too early then. <laughs> yeah. Not basically, we get out. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't pull it as soon as you get out, because the parachute, they get, like I said, acts as a solid object. It's really gonna hurt. Like, it has killed people before. Is that all? I believe we were need one more person. We're 14 in here, including, uh, excluding me. Yeah, everyone's in. Oh, yeah, no, everybody's in. Oh, that's a corpse on the runway. Wonder whose that is. <laughs> Wait, same as uh, Or drop Yeah, down? yeah. Okay. Same, same drops in, same approach. So this time just use the ace interaction. Uh, so pull your shoots like a bit earlier than last time. Um, use ace interaction to cut them and then uh, deploy the reserve. And remember, you only have one reserve. So if you cut that, you're going to fall to the ground hilariously. Fun fact, you can survive about a 3 inch meter fall, I think, is my record. So I haven't checked, yep. which I'm assuming because of how everything felt when I got in. That if you load the loadout, it doesn't put stuff back on your chest. That is no. correct. That's fine. Uh, loadouts do not. It, that pack on chest is like a phantom phantom zone for things. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Like, even though it uses ace interaction, it's an extension of ace. Therefore, it's. It, ace Arsenal doesn't technically recognize it. I'm not sure if there's going to be any support in the future. I doubt it. So. Yeah, that's fine. It's why, it's why we say just like load your load out, go to put your backpack on your chest, then pick the parachute. And, uh, as you've probably experienced uh, in some missions, if anyone's ever done power dropping against you with the AI, uh, you will dangle there for a while and you can be shot. So um, it is a risky, relatively risky thing to do. So if you're in like a, you know the enemy's going to be below you, uh, you'll have to locate a source of cover essentially in the middle of the air and be like, okay, I'm going to go there. But you'll have to do it in such a manner where you don't break your legs, you don't pass out, and you don't kill yourself. Basically, armor makes. Armor power dropping is like way more risky than real life power dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of the way the physics and collisions and everything work. Okay, we're coming up to the drop zone. We're at three clicks altitude. Um, yeah. Go whenever you guys are ready. I'm not calling it. Go, 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 go! Caution, ramp. Come on, one more. That's just beautiful. We climb. Yeah, that's fine. If you if you find like hmm, I'm way too high, you just use the interaction menu yeah. and just cut cut yourself free. Yeah, I have no cut myself free option, so I'm floating down. Yeah, so... Using, what, using Ace Interaction? It's yeah. Ace Interaction, not Stealth Interaction. It's not the... Uh... I got it, I got it. Yeah, it's normal Interaction. And then you reopen using Scroll Wheel, I believe. Yeah. I wouldn't know, actually, because yeah. I've never actually yeah. uh, cut my shoot away. Yeah, it's cool. Scroll Wheel. Yeah, it's Scroll Wheel. So, yeah. Again, just be mindful that you don't land too hard. Core info. Yeah. So you make sure your lot stops are nice and controlled, and it should be fine.
Also, you can collide with people midair, so just be spatially aware when making turns and all that. So again, once he lands, uh, sometimes your parachute cuts off fine, sometimes it sticks on your back. Just remove it from your back and then put backpack back on back. God, I just nothing. died me there. Hmm? I just died me there. Yeah, you probably collided with something. Uh, probably that lamppost, looking at it. Or possibly someone else's parachute. Or both. I was pretty high, so... Um, I'm not sure where the teleport port is. Could you do it um, this time before I <laughs> put two meters in front of it? <laughs> oh my god. This guy. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, that's... You, you, you look at everything we've just covered in like the last 40 minutes, and you <clears> think, that isn't much. That's really easy. You'd be surprised how many people screw this up and just pancake onto the ground or come in so fast they break their legs. God forbid it's your bloody medic as well. <laughs> it would always be the medic. Because that's happened to me too. It's like, yeah, I've broke, I've broken my legs. Oh, okay. Uh, who are you? I'm the medic. Oh, for God's sake. Then you've got to call another squad over, have them laugh at you because your medic's an idiot, and get his legs patched up. Uh, if, if your medic doesn't die first, is he really a medic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my medic's died last, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's that's essentially like the basics of how to do the power drop. Just make sure you're nice, slow, and controlled as you come into actually land, and you shouldn't get any injuries. At most, maybe a couple of bruises and scrapes, but nothing life-threatening like broken legs, unconsciousness, and death. Permission to open fire on the last guy in a parachute. No. Oh. So yeah, um, any Aww. questions, worries, comments, concerns, anything you want me to go over that I haven't? Mm, not really. Uh, this is more of what speed was Cinefax going to be at parachute speed? It depends. It's just the thing is. The slower I'm going, the better, like the more time you guys have to land over the same as For example, yeah. my approach speed was um, roughly 550. You guys' actual drop speed was 200. Ooh. My stalling speed is 180, so I was going really slow. It really depends on, like, if you have a, a, a huge LZ or like a huge drop zone, for example, on. You have to fill an entire coastline with like a, a, a platoon worthy of guys. I'm going way faster, so they spread out more. But if, like, you guys are all supposed to land in a specific spot. I'm trying to go as or the pilot is supposed to try to go as low as possible. Okay, so the drop distance from the target is based off of information Speed. coordinated between the pilot and squads. Pretty much. Maybe the fact telling the pilot. Yeah, fact telling the pilot because the fact will determine where the drop zones are along with the platoon, and the squads essentially just roll, roll along with it. What the squad leaders will usually do is set an RP, so basically they say, in this drop zone, we'll rally to this point. Now it's either your choice to essentially land there, or land as close to it as possible, so that uh, you and your squad can get together as quickly as possible. Because the closer you are, the easier it is to see to any injuries get everyone together and crack on with it, because if we're waiting 20 minutes for some loony to drift down, it's a bit difficult to... Me, eh? <laughs> it's a bit difficult to, you know, get on with the job, because we're mm. waiting for someone. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know why I said this would last two hours, I think that was a, a holdover from one of my previous events, so... Um, yeah, any questions, burning desires to know something else about it. Mm, no. Do my parachute work off this roof? No. no. <laughs> this isn't Battlefield. Believe me, <laughs> we, we, we've tried stuff like that. It, it won't work oh. off the high tower either. 